Start Squad, what is up? It's your boy Blue. Come back to you guys with another video today. Wow, it's been almost 80 or 90 days since my last upload. I apologize about that. But today, I'm coming back to you with great updates and news about the direction that the hobby is taking. And I'm gonna be talking about the new set coming out next week, Surging Sparks. This set is going to be a mix of Super Electric Breaker and Paradise Dragona. Both sets, in my opinion, were a great step in the right direction for the Pokemon Company compared to previous Scarlet and Violet sets that we've been getting. Not saying that the sets were bad, just they left us with things to be desired. I thought Paradise Dragona left us with a few things to be desired as well, but mostly kind of satisfied us on the dragon front. Rumors next year that we're getting a true kind of Dragon Majesty-esque set, but nothing has been confirmed quite yet. I liked both of those sets for what they were, so I think it's a very close to complete set and a really good step in the right direction for the Pokemon Company going forward. Obviously, we have Terrastal Festival and the Eevee set coming out in a couple of months. We have the Team Rocket set coming out, but we also have a few other sets, including Heat Wave Arena and the Trainer Collection set coming out next year. I think getting a Pikachu set kind of setting us off in the right direction with the Pokemon Company will allow the Pokemon Company to get back to true form and get the hobby reignited again. So enough talking about the future. What cards in this set are we looking forward to when it releases? Considering we got both parts of this set already in Japanese, we know what to expect, but here is what I am personally looking forward to. Starting off with the Pokemon Secret Illustration Rares, we obviously have the Pikachu EX, which is one of the most stunning cards from the Scarlet and Violet era. We have the Milotic EX, we have the Hydreigon EX, we have the Durant, which is funny because it's actually a continuation if you put all of them next to each other. It's just ants continually running. I thought that was a nice take. We have the Archiludon, which in my opinion was a bit of a throwaway card. It feels more of like a full art than a secret art rare, but just adds to the overall secret art rares to collect in this set. And then we have one of the most visually stunning cards I've seen in some time, the Executor. Oh, that's hot. The Pikachu is going to be the chase in the set. It is a set mascot. It is one of the coolest arts I've ever seen. And if Pokemon literally makes Terrastal Festival cards, just like the Pikachu, that's gonna be the set of the year. So I'm definitely gonna be looking to get that Pikachu in my personal collection. There are only four trainer secret illustration rares, which to me was a bit surprising because of the direction that Pokemon has been going with this trainer frenzy. But we have Clement, which makes sense because he is a mascot and in the anime is an electric type trainer who follows Ash on his journey. So that was a perfect choice. We have Drayton, which I do not know much about personally. I didn't play the new DLCs. We also have Lycia's Appeal, which Lycia is a great trainer, a very popular trainer, and it was super popular in Paradise Dragona. And finally, we have Jasmine's Gaze, which when that news dropped that that card was going to be in Super Electric Breaker, that kind of took the hobby by storm. The waifu craze, the trainer craze is still in full swing. And so those two trainer cards, the Jasmine's Gaze and the Lycia's Appeal is going to definitely create high for the set because people love those trainer cards and I also like Clement and I also like Drayden. There were also 23 art rares in the set which couldn't make me more excited. One of my biggest critiques about a lot of sets in the Scarlet Violet era was the lack of art rares in the set. We have 23. 23 is a very solid number. I'm really looking forward to the Sarah Ledge. I'm looking forward to the Feebas. I'm looking forward to that Alolan Doug Trio, the luscious hair. I wish I had that hair. I definitely don't have that hair. It is a great card. I love that art style. I love that cartoon art style. We also have that Skarmory and the Braviary art rare. Both of those art rares are going to be just staples for my collection because I think those arts honestly deserved secret art rare variants. There's also a few gold cards, Pikachu gold card, and a couple of trainer gold cards as well. I'm really looking forward to these gold cards as well as the full arts. Obviously, the secret illustration rares and the art rares are things to be coveted and things to be desired, but the full arts and the gold cards help make this a almost complete set in my eyes and I can't wait to get this thing in my collection I can't wait to get all these cards collect them all it honestly makes me happy as a longtime Pokemon card collector and Pokemon fan because it feels like Pokemon is finally giving the collectors and the longtime fans kind of exactly what they want and I can't wait for the next six months to a year in the Pokemon hobby especially with the new mainline Pokemon game coming out and all these cards are and amazing sets are making me excited to be a Pokemon collector again and Star Squad I can't wait to open these and talk to you guys about all of these amazing cards in the hobby and I can't wait I'm just excited about where the Pokemon company is headed and where the Pokemon cards are going. And Star Squad, I appreciate you. It's been uh, it's been almost three months since my last video, so I apologize about the lack of uh, lack of uploading. But I'm excited to be back. There's gonna be a lot of content coming, a lot of excitement, a lot of buzz. I'm ready. It's been your boy Blue, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you for watching.